So, Life of Pi, second contextual, we are in chapter 92 here. Please feel free to pause the video and read the text. So, place the extract in context, what happened before, what's currently happening, what's going to happen after. So, soon after Pi's encounter with that blind Frenchman, um, Pi and Richard Parker, they come across an island of trees, this whole carnivorous island. And at first, Pi thinks that it is an illusion, especially when he notices that the island has no soil. But his skepticism here is overcome when he falls overboard and actually encounters solid land. So he thinks it's just an illusion. And you know, he's like every part of his body is just not functioning properly. And yeah, his mind just simply cannot believe where he is right now. So yeah, this is the, the island of trees. 9.6 refer to lines 9 and 10. Based on your knowledge of the novel as a whole, discuss the implication of Richard Parker's behavior in these lines. So in 9.6, Richard Parker, he simply follows his predatory instinct by rushing off to hunt. However, through his training of Richard Parker, Pi has actually established himself as the alpha, as the dominant force here, in order to survive. Now, Richard Parker's giving Pi a, a wide berth, quote-unquote a wide berth, that indicates that he actually accepts Pi as the alpha male and respectfully avoids uh, intruding on Pi's territory. So Richard Parker's disappearance on the island foreshadows his leaving of Pi uh, when they actually reach uh, Tomatlan in Mexico. So Pi, he's, yeah, he, he respects, sorry, Richard Parker respects Pi here. Pi has used pretty much everything he's learned, um, especially from his youth about establishing flight distance and his domination of Richard Parker here is, is completely, completely apparent. Um, in line 16 and 17, so here 16 and here 17, um, comment on the extent to which these lines foreshadow the effect that Pi's ordeal will have on his life. So to what extent? So on the island, Richard Parker, so in the second story, this is actually like Pi's alter ego. Well, it is Pi's alter ego. Kills more meerkats than he can eat. So Pi, he just, he greedily eats and hoards any food that he's given in hospital. And as an adult, Pi actually stockpiles food in his home because while of his really hectic 227 days uh, aboard that little orange lifeboat. So Pi needs the security of knowing that he has enough food and that he will never again have to resort to savagery. And this is an indication that Pi is still psychologically scarred by his ordeal. And the memory of the deprivation he has suffered, it remains with him throughout his life. Uh, 9.8, do you agree? So nice level four question, slightly higher order. Uh, that the island represents the contrast between reality and illusion. So justify your response uh, using the extract as a nice starting point. So, yeah, you know, we... We are going to go along the lines of agree. Um, it's always going to be the safer option to to agree. And so at first, the island is it's initially it's a sanctuary to Pi and Richard Parker as it provides for all their essential needs. However, uh, Pi, he, he does realize that rather than being a paradise which offers salvation, the island is indeed carnivorous and deadly. And the island seems to be like the Garden of Eden. OK, so a nice uh, biblical allusion here. It uh, alludes, it relates to the Bible. But Pi discovers human teeth, and this suggests some beastly, carnivorous characteristics as well. It's right there, beastly. How did you guys feel about seeing Mr. Beast in an Afrikaans comprehension, eh? It's crazy. This leads to the realization that the island is in fact evil, and this symbolizes a rather shallow faith. It is not the safe haven that Pi has assumed it to be. And it is this knowledge that finally spurs him to actually leave the island. Okay, so eventually does leave the island. So yeah, anything along those lines. So you could have referred to Pi being in this hallucinatory state. He's having hallucinations and being unable to actually distinguish between what's real and what's imaginary. So that was also uh, one of the lines you could have gone across. Um, and like a, a disagreeing answer here is, is rather unlikely. So yeah, a nice little question here.